So I've really been struggling to uh, do videos on the allotment at the moment because they're doing this building work and they're just pile driving all day long and it just makes for pretty, pretty terrible audio soundtrack. So uh, anyway, I thought I'd do a quick tour of the back garden and the front garden and we've really enjoyed growing here uh, this year. It's been a real revelation for us. So uh, let me show you around. So I'm trying to clear as much as I can at the moment from the back garden and get it replanted. But it's looking pretty good still. So for a quick whiz around. I've just actually harvested the tomatoes for today. But these tumblers have been fantastic. They're in big tubs, 30 uh, litre tubs, really well prepared. And I think, you know, the size of the tub has been really worthwhile. And the trusses are just phenomenal. And I've been harvesting every other day um, a big container off here. And obviously they're starting to uh, look a bit worse for wear now, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. And they're all breaking off, you know, all the stems are all breaking off like this because just way too heavy but I've been really pleased with them and I've actually bought uh, a packet two packets out rather of the same seeds that I sowed here for next year already uh, even though I know that germination won't be quite as good just because they've just been so like a revelation really I've had more tomatoes off these plants here than um, from the polyton so I've just got some little seedlings here. These are some of my spring onions uh, for overwintering. And a few lettuces, a few more tomatoes. And these are my main crop potatoes. And these are King Edwards. And basically they've finished um, a bit early. I'm a bit concerned. I'm pretty confident there'll be a lot of potatoes in there, but I'm a little bit concerned they won't be big enough. Uh, we really like um, big baking potatoes here, and it's the same story here with the sarpamiras. These are still hanging on a bit, but uh, yeah, all that really hot weather uh, just brought them on, and you can see how long the stems are. Yeah, quite a mess. But anyway, I should be harvesting those soon. And the beans are pretty much finished. And this is fine now because we've got plenty of beans now. These are early beans. And we had them in June. And so it's nice that these are finished. I can get this all cleared away now and focus on the beans on the allotment of which we have loads. So this is the new bed that we put in in February. <laughs> it's been brilliant. Let's have a quick whiz along. Lettuces here. This is the Mikado spinach. Debbie says it's the best spinach she's ever had. So we're really pleased with that because it's slow to bolt in summer. So we'll probably have some uh, true spinach in summer now. These are just a uh, a few extra um, golden beetroot, burpees golden. I love the leaves on these. Quality is so lovely. And I just popped in these little spring cabbages. Obviously they're too close together. They'll be thinned out every other one. And this year I've done a lot of late planted kale in the hope that it'll be more vigorous over winter and last a bit longer. We find that our kale, you know, the stuff that we sow in early spring and then harvest over summer, the plants are a bit exhausted come winter time. So uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with the progress of these. These are only a few weeks old now, so really good. And then more lettuces interplanted with spring onions. 
so this is our summer kale bed and you can see you know the plants are looking a bit old now the quality of the leaves is not great They're getting a bit of white fly but you know they've been fantastic late spring and summer and the perennial kales at the back are coming on really well so once i clear these plants i'm not quite sure when that will happen but i guess it'll be sometime in winter in preparation for replanting these again uh, with uh, brassicas again in early uh, spring we'll be harvesting all of these perennial kales and i really love them they grow huge now this is another one of those early planted kale beds you have to keep an eye on them now there's, uh, there's certainly plenty of cabbage whites around anyway these are doing well these are about a month older than the other bed but again nice young vigorous plants hopefully they'll be great in winter some collets there and then another bed of lettuces there these lettuces will last us sometime into september really and then we'll sw start switching over to the ones that are on the uh, allotment great vine at the back there got a lot of grapes on there although they're kind of hidden it all needs a bit of a prune and then these are radicchios these are radicchios and they're interplanted with hearting lettuces i can't actually remember what variety those are and then these are again lettuces and planted with spring onions same story here these will be finishing in september and here we've got our sprouts that we've been harvesting for leaves for the longest time now and they're just starting to make these nice little sprout tops we're taking these off because this bed will be cleared in probably two weeks time got to get these beds we planted quickly especially because they get no protection here so plants that go in here need to grow um, in September really um, and then you know they'll be reasonably big uh, healthy plants come October time and things like salad rocket and winter miners lettuce and things like that are the kind of things that will be going in these beds and then again these are all radicchios and interplanted with little gems and i'm quite pleased with this interplant because these were about the same size plants and they're kind of about the same size plants now these radicchios will soon need more space but these little gems are only a week away from harvest so that's just perfect it's worked really nicely let's just have a look at the back of the garden so i've just popped in these containers and uh, these are Christmas potatoes most of our Christmas potatoes are on the allotment um, but uh, we've just got a few here and these are just the ones that we'll be eating back end of the year so uh, on the run up to Christmas and then the ones on the allotment see us through from uh, January February I think actually to April time and uh, we've got blueberries on these pots and geraniums obviously here and these have been fantastic this year i've really struggled and i've always wanted to grow blueberries but i've really struggled i used to have them in these geranium bins they were too small these have really thrived in these bigger plastic containers and uh, yeah i've been so pleased with them and we've been eating blueberries now for well six weeks every, every a bowl full um or half a bowl full every night fantastic and we basically make up a fruit salad every night blueberries strawberries raspberries and these are starting to come to an end now because most of these are summer we're switching over to the autumn fruiters that are on the allotment and then we also have cherries and gooseberries and got some more blueberries down here so that is pretty much it 
for the back garden. It's been a bit of an experiment for us this year, trying to grow a lot of our summer veg and fruit in the back garden, leaving the allotment for root crops and storage crops and winter crops. And it's worked really well. I've been so pleased with it. It's so much easier to look after things in the back garden and there's a lot less pests, it's so much easier to water. And I, I like the look of it as well. I know some people like, well, there's veg in your garden. Where's all the flowers? But actually, I think veg looks really beautiful. I really like it. And it's been even more of an experiment growing veg in the front garden. And we really didn't do very much prep for this at all, but we've got quite a nice range. We've got some perpetual spinach here, some summer squash here, a few sweet corn here, courgettes, and chard here, and some herbs in this bed here, and some more chard, beetroot, and we did have onions all the way around the edge here. And we got a lovely crop from there. So next year we're going to double down on the uh, front garden harvest. I'm really excited. Uh, and also in the front garden we've got this beautiful little kale bed here. And this gets a lot of uh, admiring glances actually from passers-by. And then just a few containers with all sorts of things in here. Um, looks pretty nice. So that's all there is to see. But we're doing a lot of transitions over the next few months because we want this garden to be absolutely full of veg in winter as well. And so right now it's full of all the autumn veg. And so it's going to be tricky to get the transitions right so that we can get a good crop of all the autumn veg, but still have enough time to get the winter veg in and growing strongly. But we'll see what we can do. I'm looking forward to it. My name's Steve, this is the Seaside Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.